Time now for Sid 6 Zero. This is where I got 60 seconds to talk about anything. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. You can feel the buzz, and we're still a week away. Jays are coming back. Next Friday, 15,000 will be allowed at Rogers Center over this upcoming 10 game homestand, and that 15,000 will sound like 150,000. I swear to God. But what shape will they be in record wise by the time they come back home next week? Not really sure. Entering action last night, four and a half games back of the second wild card in the AL. They're taking on the Mets in New York this weekend, then starting Monday, four games in Boston against the division leading Red Sox. Then they're home. How Toronto fares in the division will be key, and so far, not so good. Three games under 500 against teams inside the American League East. And if you take those wins against last place Baltimore out of the equation, record's a little worse. So, yes. Seeing the Jays back on Canadian soil next week is going to be an unbelievable sight. It's going to be an unbelievable feeling filled with emotion. But when you look at the standings, this team is far from being on solid ground or terra firma, if you will. Someone always on terra firma, Shai Davidi of Sportsnet, one of the best baseball reporters in North America. Shai, it's great to see you. Since we're talking the division, I have to mention the trade that happened last night in the Jays' division. Nelson Cruz, who's over 40, but one of the most consistent hitters in the game of baseball, was picked up by Tampa, of all teams, who rarely go out and buy a guy. Um, I just, there, there's a lot happening in this division, Shai. What do you make of that deal, and how does it relate to Toronto, do you think? Well, I mean, you mentioned it. It's a bit uncharacteristic for the Rays, but it's a huge ad for them. I mean, offense has been one of their issues all season long, and Nelson Cruz is about as productive a hitter as you're going to acquire this trade deadline. So a big boost for their lineup. And because, you know, it's an uncharacteristic move for the Rays, I think it's really going to energize that team. You know, they, they obviously got to the World Series last year, lost to the Dodgers. And for them to make this level of ad, that that's going to be uh, that's going to be really meaningful to them. I had a couple of baseball people reach out, text me last night saying, yeah, hey, this is this is going to be really impactful for them. No doubt. Um, all right, Shai, a week from today, you will be allowed to speak to Mark Shapiro and Charlie Montoyo and players not through Zoom. They'll be home. Your emotions. Well, I'm looking forward to not writing a game from uh, from from home from my office and yeah. actually seeing it in person. I mean, it's it's super exciting. But look, I think the bigger thing, this is great for the city. This is great for us as a society because it's showing the progress that we're making. And the fact that we can have things like this again, uh, that that's going to be incredible. And I think the, there's going to be a, a, a really unique energy in the building. Uh, I can think back to sort of one moment that might sort of compare was with Troy Tulowitzki made his debut game in 2015 and there was just this vibe that something big had happened and something big had changed and I feel like it's going to be similar obviously for much different and much more important reasons but you know the July 30th is also the trade deadline so if the Blue Jays pull off a move or two as well I mean it's got the chance to be really electric there. Yeah it's shaping up to be one of the most eventful days in Jays history that wasn't a playoff game uh, it's going to be something else. Shy, love you. Thanks for doing this. See you next week at the Dome. Absolutely. I can't believe I just said that. I can't wait to see you, brother. Take care. Nice, Appreciate isn't you. it? Oh, what a feeling. Yeah. What a feel. He's one of the best. Shy DeVito of Sportsnet. We appreciate him here on Breakfast Television. Thank you, Shy. All right, coming up, the Olympics are now kind of officially underway. It's a weird one. No fans. Japan doesn't really want it there. The people, other than that, it's happening. How much of the Olympics are you going to watch? 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. At Breakfast TV on Twitter 24-7. Let us know how you feeling about this. It's 645 Toronto. It's a Friday. Hoo-ha. You're watching BT.